Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a PR unboxing. I haven't done one of these on this channel in quite some time and I stopped doing them as much over on my second channel just because I've been busy. I know you guys love these, so I thought I'd share with you what I got in the mail recently. There's a lot of stuff. These videos take a lot of time. Um, so grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab a snack, and let's get started. Before we get into the PR unboxing, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like giveaways and all that fun stuff, make sure you're signed up to my newsletter. All you have to do is hop on over to my blog, serenewoo.com, and subscribe to my newsletter. I send you email invitations to enter all of my giveaways. You'll definitely want to be a part of my newsletter family for the holidays because I'm working on something really epic and hopefully I can pull it off. Look at all this fun stuff. Dolly, you're in a dangerous position. These boxes could fall on you. Are you brave? Are you gonna handle it? She's okay, she's right there. <laughs> I did already like slice open boxes or at least have things like condensed a bit to get it onto my bed. First bag is from Paul and Joey. Oh. Ooh, Paul and Joe eye color. Oh, I think I just said Paul and Joey. It's Paul and Joe eye color CS. I've never tried anything from this brand. But I can tell you the packaging is absolutely gorgeous with this like beautiful. Ooh, and this is a dual eyeshadow floral packaging. Really, really pretty. Someone took the time to wrap all of this. I appreciate that. Lipstick in Rouge in 301. It's a lipstick refill. Oh my gosh, it was like this really gorgeous little flower embossing. Look at that, it's so pretty. I love this color too. Oh, and here is the limited lipstick case in 002. I really love all of the pretty florals. It's like a pretty like blue and pink and ooh. It's made out of wood like that. I just slid the lipstick in there and now you can turn it like that. So that's really cool. Ooh, pressed face powder. There's like a pretty little bird on here. Looks like it's just the refill. Here's the case. Look how pretty that is with the little bird on top of it. I feel like this makes really good gifts just because all of the packaging is really gorgeous and well done. There's Japanese writing on here, so it's a, uh, oh, it's Japanese and Chinese because it says made in Taiwan and then I see the Chinese writing on the back. Oh, I just looked at this powder. It's like multicolored. So how pretty is that? It's stuck in there. Pretty nice. This is so pretty. Can't wait to play with some of the products. And this bag is so pretty. I love this bag. Quick shout out to a viewer. She sent me this beautiful calligraphy journal that customized with my name. Her calligraphy is stunning. She wrote my name on it. And she said, Made with Love by Courtney. And her Instagram handle is at Bristle Sprouts co so if you guys need any calligraphy definitely check her out this is super super cute the making faces beauty book from kevin aquan i actually got this in new york but i want to share with you guys because i brought it all the way from new york literally a book and it's modeled after the making faces book that's really famous from kevin aquan so you open this up and then everything's like magnetic and different chapters so the first one is going to be chapter one, contour. How cute that is. Two is blush and define. And you also have some blushes. You have two blushes. I feel like these colors are also really pigmented, so they'll work on a lot of skin tones, either by blending it out or like deepening things up. The final one is emphasis eyes, chapter three. It's like a full eyeshadow look. So cute, I love it. I love the packaging and everything too. Zoeva has a new eyeshadow palette coming out called Zoeva Cafe Eyeshadow Palette. It'll be exclusively available on zoevacosmetics.com starting October 16th. I love Zoeva powder products. I think they make some really great powder products, especially eyeshadow palettes. I kind of feel like this is gonna be my eyeshadow shade because it's cafe and I'm a coffee addict. Oh, a big mix of shimmers and mattes. Oh, look at that cup of joy. That is a cup of joy. Look at that pigmentation. The shimmers are nice and buttery. Everything's very smooth. Oh, that green's gonna be fun to play with. I've actually been really having a lot of fun playing with color lately on my eyes. Beautiful that shimmer is. So 
Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Zoeva. Very excited to play with this eyeshadow palette. Luxie Brushes came out with the Princess Collection, and this is Princess Jasmine. Look how beautiful the box is. It's so freaking beautiful that I've had this for a while just sitting on my counter because it's so pretty. I don't even want to open it up. And I love that it's like Princess Jasmine. She's my favorite Disney princess. I always wanted to be her. And actually, for senior year of cheer, we were all supposed to print uh, print like Disney princesses on our cheer box and I remember like campaigning for Jasmine and nobody else was gonna be Jasmine and then all of the other cheerleaders said I had to be Mulan because I'm Asian yeah I was the only Asian cheerleader too I was actually a part of song so I was one of four song leaders which meant we were actually like dancers that were also cheering and we had pom-poms so begrudgingly I was peer pressured to put Mulan, and the worst part was I was forced to put Mulan with her white makeup face, which to me was inaccurate because Mulan is an actual person in China that is a historic figure, and she didn't like paint the geisha face because that would be Japanese. I mean, Chinese people really like their pale complexions, but that was clearly a Japanese makeup situation happening and that was forced on my cheer box. So now Lexi Brush created the Jasmine Princess brushes and I am obsessed and happy and I don't care what anyone says. You pick the princess you want to be and you go be it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Look at this packaging. I think they did such a good job with it. Oh. And when you open it up there's this beautiful engraved mirror with Princess Jasmine on it. Oh, and look at these brushes. I don't even want to take them out. I'm probably not even going to use them because they're so pretty. And they're like rose gold, like bronzy gold with the inlay. And what I love about it is that it's not like gaudy. It's just very classy and well done. So pretty. This might just be displayed in my makeup room. I know people are like, what is wrong with you? It's just a brush collection. No, it's not. It's more than that for me. This is the Disney Princess Jasmine large brush. So the same kind of concept, but with the flower. Open it up and you have this gorgeous large brush. It has Jasmine engraved on the brush handle. I just think it's really well done. So really pretty. Max sent me over a little goodie collection and it actually had a gift card in here for me to go pick out my shade at Mac for Studio Fix. So I went across the street to my Mac store and I picked up Studio Fix. I'm in NC25. The crazy thing is I've been NC25 for like 10 years. I haven't used Mac Fix Plus since freshman year in high school. But you know what? I'm excited to play with this because now that I know how to use makeup, maybe I won't look cake facey. And the reason I would say I kind of looked cake facey in freshman year of high school is because I'd apply this all over using a sponge and then I would use the sponge to reapply throughout the day. Don't do that. Use a blotting powder. So picked up on my own the Studio Tech Foundation, which I've been wearing nonstop because it's really easy to apply. It's a perfect match for me. I'm also NC25 in that. And it's what Nick put on me when we were doing the little collab over on YouTube Live, and I was like, wow, I really like this. And I was over at Max, so I was like, I'm gonna pick this up too. It's a cream to powder foundation, and it works really well with my combination skin. Kind of rediscovering MAC lately. Sent me a new MAC Fix Plus. This is like a tried and true product that everyone just has. And then this is the Skin Base Prep and Prime, which I've never tried. I only tried one primer from MAC, and I typically use the one that had the SPF in it back in the day, but I haven't used it in a while. And they sent two brushes. This one I think actually Kathleen talks about. It's 140S, I think is the name. This is the brush that Kathleen was raving about. I'm so excited to try this out. And they also sent this brush, which is MAC 190. So this is a foundation brush for sure. This is great for cream, um, blushes and liquid blushes but thank you so much mac i'm really excited to play with some of these products apparently this is like the number one foundation in the entire world which is insane because i've been using it since 1999 
That's how old I am if you do the math. So this is from Laura Mercier. I love Laura Mercier. Perfectly smooth, even surface for applying foundation with our lightweight, breathable, water-based foundation primers. Just as an artist primes a canvas to prepare for painting, our foundation primers will help Makeup glide on easily and last longer so you look so your looks stay fresh and color true for hours. Oil free one, which is great for oily skin. Here's a hydrating one, which is good for me for the winter. Blemishless one. This is probably really good if I have a breakout. I really like their primers. I've been using their primers for years. The Radiance one is my favorite. This is their traditional foundation primer too. Thank you for stocking me up, Laura Mercier. I absolutely love your foundation primers. The Radiance one is by far my favorite, and I used to use the oil-free one when I was oilier. But I can't wait to test out the hydrating one and the anti-blemish one. And just the regular one. I don't think I've even tried just the regular one because I used to use the oil-free one when I was younger. And then I went from oil-free to um, Radiance. I have a package from Ofra. Smell coffee. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the most adorable little coffee mug, and it says Espresso Yourself, Ofra. And this is, I think, a bunch of little coffee beans, which smells amazing. This is so cute. And here is the new Espresso Lip Set from Ofra Cosmetics, launching Sunday, October 3rd. It already happened at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Available for $20 each, or as a set for $50. So it's a good value if you like all the shades. Milan is like the most beautiful red. Look at that. Ooh, I love the way these smell too. I'm not crazy about this shade, which is Amsterdam. It's like a little purpley gray shade. Mocha, Mocha's my favorite. I wear Mocha a lot. Mocha and Pasadena are my favorite like everyday rosy mauve shades. Definitely recommend these two, which is Milan and Mocha. This one, Amsterdam, mm, I don't really like that color, but some of you guys might. I have a discount code for Ofra. It's my name, Serene30, for 30% off your entire purchase on Ofra.com. So I wanted to try out Make Makeup, and they sent me over some goodies. So thank you so much, Make, for sending this over. Cannot wait to try this out. This is the Custom Effects Matte and Dew, and so basically this, like, one side is for dewiness and one side is for mattifying and the mattifying side you can like press onto your shiny areas and the dewy side you can like use as a highlight oh this is like a balmy gloss very very excited for this i just stuck my fingers all in this thing this is the matte finish blush in bisque i think that's gonna get along real well with me this is dew pot oh my gosh so a couple accounts I follow on Instagram, Sarah Loves Makeup, she uses this all the time, so I can't wait to test this out. Dew Pot in Bronze 01. I think this is going to look really pretty, like, on my cheeks. It's, like, dewy, creamy, but not, and very tacky, but it's not, like, overly emollient, which is interesting. There's a lipstick. This is the matte lipstick. Love the way these lipsticks look. I saw them online. And look at the way the bullet is. This is like the perfect bullet because you can use it to draw your lip line and you can really get in there in the corners. So this is in the shade Jakarta and it's a really beautiful like purpley plum burgundy shade. Here is a luminous lip gloss. Ooh, this is gorgeous. This is in the shade F604. And this is definitely a gloss shade that I will wear. And this is like almost the same color as Mocha, but just glossy. Because clearly I wear the same three lip colors my entire life. And it's just a different brand every time. <laughs> but this, it's literally the perfect shade for me. And then this one is Super Matte Lip Pencil. Oh, so this, I think you can put it over things and it'll, it'll mattify it. And then this is Sculpt Lash and Brow, Sculpting Lash and Brow Gel. So I think I can use this on my lashes and brows because it's clear it doesn't have a scent either usually these smell really like harsh but this smells good can't wait to play with some of these I'll probably look out for a new full face testing new makeup I've been loving doing that because it's like playing with makeup chatting with you guys and doing a ton of first impressions all on my entire face this is from Too Cool for School. Oh, look how pretty that paper is. Too Cool for School. This is their seasonal product. This is adorable. There's a bunch of fake leaves, which is really cute. 
some more fake leaves. A Starbucks Baya Instant Pumpkin Spice Latte. Pumpkin Sleeping Pack from Too Cool for School. And a Pumpkin 24 Karat Gold Mask for Vitality and Radiance. If these would be really cute as gifts for your hostess or something. Enzyme Peeling Pumpkin Nutrition Clear Skin Moisturizing. Multi-care sleeping mask provides moisture, nutrients, and exfoliating care while sleeping. Contains active pumpkin ingredients vital for skin care, such as rich nutrients of vitamin A and beta carotene provides you with soft skin service. So thank you so much to Cool for School for sending this. Let me smell it. Does it smell like pumpkins? I hope it does. I think it does. Oh, it kind of doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't really smell like pumpkins. That's so funny. I have my face Tory box. You can use Serene 20 for 20% off your first box, not affiliated with them at all. Oh, look how pretty the handwritten note is. All of our wonderful pink sheet masks in our Breast Cancer Awareness Month box. Happy masking. There's a card that explains all of the different masks and kind of um, price points and things like that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sheet masks. So that's like about two a week almost one and a half a week for the month. Most of these brands I haven't tried before. I love my sheet mask. I'm sure you guys have seen this already on a lot of other PR unboxings or Insta stories, Instagram, whatever, Snapchat. Mac sent me the Nicki Minaj collection. Look how beautiful this box is. I'm like, oh, ah. These are the two shades. This is in the shade Nicki's Nudes. It's really pretty. This is like a really pale pink. And this one is in the pink print. This one's like another really pink, pinky. It's like a frosted pink almost. There's a drawer of lipsticks. Glossmer wing. Are these all new? Holy, this, look at that. Oh, I kind of like that. I almost like this on my eyes. Then luster lipstick, rouge 2N. I think these are all, are these all new? Cause I haven't tried any of these colors or maybe I just don't go after them in the store. There's a smell about a MAC lipstick that brings me back to home. Oh, I like this. This is in Derriere. How many nude lipsticks can a girl want? Apparently a lot. Stripped. Girls got needs. I like these names, man. This one, this one is in the shade Age Sex Location. I like that shade. And this one is in Among the Fireflies. It's really pretty too. Here's like a pinky nude. This is in Playing Koi. Pretty please. Baby's all right. Running out of room to swatch things. This is like a purpley, purpley brown. Patisserie. This is not new. I know, I think um, Anna from Anna Edit loves this one. Patisserie. I love it too. Okay, pinky nude. This actually looks like my lip color. Mmm is the name of this one. It's like a purpley shade. And then you've got the lip glasses. So you have the shade under the sheets and nude. Elf sent me a box of stuff. What? Silicone sponges and then a glittery sponge that looks like there's glitter flecks, which could be really cute or really cumbersome. There's this silicone blender duo which has another silicone blender and then a giant silicone like what am i gonna use this giant one for my body the shimmer lip transformer and berry and then red um beauty shield antioxidant rich skin protection lipstick dusty rose shield siren red let's see what these are they look interesting and promising i don't like this color it's had like a weird frost over it oh the red Red looks good. That's really like pigmented. Pigmentation of these are really nice. I have a box from Physicians Formula. They are celebrating, I think they're 90 years. Am I making that up? They're celebrating a big milestone soon. We hope you enjoy butter highlighters. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, what is this? Yes. There are four butter highlighters launching. When are these available? I don't know when they're available. They should be available on the website soon, if not already. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is in rose gold. Oh my God. 
I just touched this and it was the most buttery, soft texture. It felt like I was rubbing my hand in like soft velveteen. Oh, and that, I don't even know if you guys can see that from here, but oh. Here's the shade Champagne, which is gonna be more my shade. Oh my God. Oh my God, it doesn't really smell like anything, which I appreciate, but it's a little shimmery. It's a little like intense in terms of the pigmentation and color. Like you can, it's like very champagne-y, very rose goldy, but I'm also using my fingers and I just really like touching this. Here is Pearl. Oh, they're almost like eyeshadows. You can definitely blend it out a little bit more and there's like an icier highlight. This one is in, oh, pink. Sorry, I was trying to read like another language just a second ago. I cannot believe the like texture of these. I like these. I really like these. I like rose gold, champagne, and pearl. The pink one's a little too pink for me. Okay, so I didn't actually open this box. It's... I hate when that happens. Ooh is the three lab anti-aging oil this is pretty new i believe and it is a 300 dollar beauty oil available at barney's they have active ingredients combined with a high concentration of ultra nourishing pure and natural oils camilla oil androba oil known for its great moisturizing qualities from the amazon rose hip oil high vitamin c burrata oil soothes dry damaged skin as well as known as a natural sun protectant so, very excited. I got a package from Kitsch. I love Kitsch accessories, they're super fun. Ooh, look how gorgeous the marble stuff is. Okay, so these are really pretty. This is um, bobby pins, these are 24 pieces. They're so gorgeous though, they're like metallic, rose gold, gold, and silver. Look how pretty that is. I feel like the camera's not doing this justice. This really cute marble hair clip, which I am totally gonna use to hold my hair back when I do my makeup. I love these little ones. They're perfect for pulling my hair back now that they're shorter. This larger bun one, my hair doesn't really go in a bun anymore, so maybe I will give this away. A hair tie. I love the marble. It's like the Instagrammer in me. And then there's some, these are some of my favorite hair ties, these like ribbon ones. And then there's these little band, rubber band ones that I like for when I like braid my hair and stuff. Thank you so much, Kitsch. I love your accessories. So I really appreciate all these fun hair goodies that I get to play with now. Glossy box. Um, I haven't gotten a glossy box in a while. Let's see what they have this month. I like the be your own kind of beautiful. Here's the CEW Beauty Insider Awards. Here's a Laneige Water Bank Soothing Gel Mask. I haven't tried this actually, so I can't wait to try that out. An It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin CC Plus Skin Perfecting Brush is the Paris Moi Perfume. Let's smell this. All I can smell is nail polish. I wonder if my nail polish broke in here. So here's a Butter London Sheer Wisdom Nail Tinted Moisturizer, but it smells really strong. Like I opened this box and everything smells like that. Oh wow, look how gorgeous this bottle is. It's got Paris, it's got the Eiffel Tower behind it. I really like this bottle. It's a very strong fragrance. I get kind of sensitive to certain fragrances, so we'll have to see if this one causes any issues. This is the Cashmere Touch Serum. I've never heard of that. Super Goop Lip Sunscreen with SPF 30, that's awesome. And then Bare Minerals Gen Matte Lip Color in Scandal. I think I already have this, so I'm not gonna swatch it if I do. I already have this one. Glossy Box is like hit or miss for me. This month is like pretty decent. They've included some more products than normal, like some more full-size products than they have been, which is nice and always appreciated. So I have these Hope Fragrance products, and it's the Uplifting Fragrance and 100% of net profits go to fight depression. So you guys know I talk about depression, anxiety, mental illness a lot here on my channel. I think that's really awesome that they're donating 100% of the profits to help with depression. It's available September 1st and you can find it at select Saks Fifth Avenue stores or saks.com. The bottle's really pretty. And it smells pretty decent, very jasmine-y. So if you like jasmine, I think you'll like it. I love the candle though. Some fragrances I like as a candle, but I would never wear it on myself and vice versa. Yeah, 
I like this candle a lot. I would totally put this candle in my house. I'm going to put this candle in my house. Okay, so the final box I have is from SkinCeuticals, but the crazy thing is they sent me this giant box with it, and I was kind of like, what did they send me with this? So here is what they sent me in this giant box. Which it says, I own way too much makeup for only having one face. Hashtag no makeup selfie at SkinCeuticals. This is so cute. I'm definitely gonna hang that somewhere. No, I got lipstick on my white sheets. They gave me letters so I can change that up. SkinCeutical, the product, because this is something I actually really wanna try. SkinCeuticals makes really good me like medical spa grade products. So here are their new cleansers. This is the Soothing Cleanser Foam, and it's a comforting cleanser with botanical extracts to calm skin. And then this is the Replenishing Cleanser Cream, Dual action cleanser with the cer with ceramide complex deeply cleanses and replenishes. So I've been very interested in trying more from SkinCeuticals. So excited to try out these cleansers. I've actually been like on a, oh, I haven't found the perfect cleanser yet thing. And oh, here's a hair thingy. So that's everything I have to share with you in today's PR unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am incredibly grateful. I never take a take for granted how lucky I am to be able to do this as my full-time job and to be on these PR lists. I truly appreciate every package that comes in and it really helps me out to continue my channel, to continue to bring you guys reviews on new products coming out. I truly appreciate the PR teams, the brands, and you guys, because I wouldn't get any of this if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload three new videos a week, at least three new videos a week. Sometimes I upload four or five, so check back here for new videos every week. And if you subscribe, hopefully you'll get notified. Sometimes you don't because YouTube does weird things. No, there's always new videos, so come back to my channel and say hi. As always, I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. If that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found this channel. And at the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of. And have a good night or rest of your day. I will see you guys right back here in my next video. Bye.